season five of the Mahindra AQ has been competitive, it's been challenging and it's been a lot of fun. A warm welcome from all of us. I'm Siddharth Sinai Patankar. We are now on week four, which means it's the last of the regional finals. We have winners from the north, the east and the west. And now it's time for a South Zone team to join them in the grand finale that's just a week away. Let me introduce you to the contenders joining me in the studio today. Remember, season five of the AQ has opened up to one and all. All auto passionates are welcome, and so we've got a mix of different kinds of teams. First up, we've got the Government Engineering College, Trisur, Anand Savio and Amit Kumar Upadhyay. Very warm welcome to you. <laughs> Joining them, we've got a team that's returning to the AQ from MEC, or the Matsushri Engineering College, Hyderabad, Sri Ram Kapilavai and M. Vamsi Krishna. The third team is our corporate team in the fray today from TVS Motor Company in Bangalore, Shantanu Zog and Arun TC. And finally, we've got a nice mix over there because we've got a corporate and we've got someone from the online world, from Cognizant and Indian Cars Bike Store in, Joshua Satish Matthew and Sachet Prakash. Very warm welcome to you as well and to all of you, all the very best. Remember, as always, all of these contestants have been seated in a random order through a simple draw of lots. So no unfair advantage to anyone. Our first round, guys, if you're ready, let's get going. So round one is start your engine, and that's exactly what we want all of you to do, get nicely warmed up. So uh, it's a bit of a ease into it because there is no negative marking in this round. There are direct questions, 200 kilometers for the right answer. Wrong answers means that your question will pass. On the pass, you can pick up 100 kilometers. So that's how it'll work. Like I said, no stress, there's no negative marking here. So. Uh, by the draw of lots, GEC, you are the first team. Let's begin. You ready? All right, your direct question. Since 1996, Polestar Racing is the official factory racing wing of which car maker? General Motors. General Motors isn't right. We'll pass to MEC. Volvo. Volvo, they say in Unision, and 100 kilometers for that. Good answer. The direct question now for MEC. The world premiere of which supercar took place fairly recently, 1st December 2013, on board the naval aircraft carrier Nave Cavo off the coast of Abu Dhabi? Uh, the Lamborghini Veneno Roadster. The Lamborghini Veneno Roadster. Right answer again, 200. <laughs> fairly fresh in our memories, I guess. So, uh, luck of the draw there for MEC. The direct question now for TBS. In September 2011, Pirelli presented the road tyre P0 Silver. What was unique about it? It had silver in its tread. It had silver in its tread. No, that's not right. We're going to pass to was Chennai. It, it was the Formula One medium compound tyre for the 2012 season. All right, you got to tell me a little bit more than that. It was the um, slick uh, medium compound Formula One tyre to be used in the 2012 season where they had super soft, soft, medium and hard compound slick tyres and intermediate and wet Sintoyato tyres. So you're saying it was a tyre for Formula 1? It was a tyre for the, it was a slick tyre for the Formula 1 2012 season. Alright, hold on to that for a second, that's not exactly accurate, let's move on and pass it's, it to GEC. Those are, uh, the tyres for, win the winter tyres for F1? Not winter tyres, no, and finally MEC? Uh, after complaints of tyre bursts, uh, some kind of an impro uh, improvisation on the existing tyres? No, that's not it either, you came really close, there was a Formula 1 connect, but what I was looking for, Formula 1 derived tyres for road cars. So for a road tyre and not an F1 or a motorsport tyre, which is why I can't give it to you, but you did come close. Let's see what happens with your direct question. Which car maker recently joined hands with the One World Football Project? And a part of it means that it's donated 20,000 nearly indestructible One World footballs to marginalised and underprivileged children in India on the occasion of Children's Day. Long question, read it carefully. You have it on your screens as well. Tata Motors? Tata Motors is not right. We passed to GEC. No answer. MEC? Ford. Ford, they say, isn't right either. And TVS? Nissan? Not Nissan. Chevrolet. Chevrolet is the right answer. And that very quickly brings us to the end of round one. We go straight into our next round. You can earn big in our second round. We call it the rear view mirror because we're taking a look back at uh, the car and bike show, over 500 episodes for us to dig into. And so we've got for you some clips from the show. Watch the clip carefully and I will ask the question based on that. It is a buzzer round. 
400 kilometers for the right answer, so lots of scoring opportunity. 200 will be deducted for a wrong answer, so listen carefully to the question. If you stop me by hitting the buzzer halfway through my question, I won't complete it, all right? First clip, take a look. The company announced big plans on the eve of the show at a special press event held elsewhere in Milan. The world will get the much talked of small Harley and for the very first time the bikes will be manufactured outside the United States. So you saw clips there of that much revered American bike brand. I want to know what is the name of the new family of motorcycles Harley? CVS. The Harley Davidson Street 500 and Street 750. The Street Family 750 500, right answer 400 kilometers. <laughs> Absolutely right, debuting at the Eichma show, and of course the bike guys would know that. So, uh, good answer. The second clip on your screens. All wheel drive is going to be performance oriented clearly and not really going to match up to the Land Rover's SUV and off roading capabilities. Also, in terms of the design, you see a lot of Jaguar typical elements coming to the design, including the F type. Okay, you heard some descriptions there. You saw a vehicle being debuted at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show. Yes, I haven't completed, but do you see? Jaguar CX-17. It is the Jaguar CX-17. You guessed correctly. I just wanted you to name it. And uh, that gets you 400 kilometers, so good going there and uh, risk worth taking as it turns out. The third AV on your screens. Car of the year. Winner of the car of the year. All right, we made history by going to the Buddha International Circuit, hosting our awards on the track. No one had ever done it before anywhere in the world. And you saw some clips from that ceremony. My question, name the winner of that 2012. Yes. Do you I know see? Duster. You should have let me complete. 2012 car of the year. And it was the Hyundai Verna. So that is wrong. Minus 200 for you, I'm afraid. And you've got one more clip, so you could recover. Take a look. Nothing like a super close sound of a supercar engine revving to get the adrenaline going. But seldom do we stop to consider what keeps these powerful engines sounding and performing so well even under the most extreme conditions. And that's exactly what we hope to get a sense of at Porsche's facility in Leipzig. All right, the question based on that course saw one of the uh, manufacturing locations for Porsche there at Leipzig. I want you to name the engine oil preferred by both Porsche and McLaren. Mobile One. Mobile One, right answer. 400 kilometers and that enthusiasm is not lost on me. I'm very happy to see it. Excellent. Good pickup of points. It is the end of that round really quickly. Let's take a look at the scores. Nice and even. GEC at 200 kilometers. You got MEC with 300 and both the other teams from Chennai and Bangalore tied at 400 apiece. So we'll quickly go into our next round that's called Blind Spot. So in this round, guys, you have to identify an image. It will be a jumbled image of a vehicle. You need to identify that vehicle. But the way it works is there's a grid that's going to show up on your screens. 12 boxes. I will reveal two at a time. And you have to try and guess from that jumbled image, of course, what lies behind it. But here comes the catch. There's minus 200 if you get the answer wrong. In the very first reveal, which is two boxes, if you get the answer right, it's 400 kilometers. If no one gets that or someone gets it wrong, well, then we move ahead. It is a buzzer round, of course. And you can continue to hit the buzzer even if you've given me the wrong answer before that. Two more boxes will reveal 300 kilometers for the right answer. And finally, if still we don't have the right answer, we will have six boxes revealed. So two at a time and then you've got to guess for 200 kilometers, which will be up for grabs in the last stage. In all three stages, it is minus 200 for the wrong answer. And as I mentioned, a team giving me the wrong answer can hit the buzzer again to guess again. All right, let's begin the first grid on your screens. MEC with the buzzer. Is the Jaguar CX-17 SUV? Is it the Jaguar CX-17 SUV? Let's reveal it. 
It is indeed. Don't look so worried. <laughs> a little bit of a, well, not really a googly, but yes, we just had it in the previous round, and so we wanted to trip you up a little bit. All right, next grid. All right, a buzzer once again, this time from TVS. Rolls-Royce Wraith. Rolls-Royce Wraith. How do you figure it's the Wraith? Uh, the dual tone and the headlamp cluster. Which is identical to the Ghost as well, so... Was it a bit of a guess there, or...? Yeah, yeah a bit of a guess. Yeah. yeah, a bit of a guess. It's good that you're being honest, because it gets you 400 kilometers. It is the Rolls-Royce Wraith. <laughs> Don't worry so much. <laughs> All right, looking more relieved now. No, I just wanted to stress you out a little bit. Good job on identifying that, and there you go. There's the full image now, and uh, that car ready for its India debut as well. The official launch has happened, but the cars haven't been shipped here yet. Okay, now we move on. We have one more for you. All right, always the buzzer on the first reveal. Yes, TVS again. It's the Safari Storm. It is the Tata Safari Storm. Right answer, absolutely right. You can't miss that side cladding, I suppose. And uh, of course, the second reveal would have showed you the Tata logo, but you didn't need that clue. Very good pickup of points. And the last image scrambled and hidden. Two boxes being revealed for you now. And we got a buzzer again. Royal Enfield Continental GT. Royal Enfield Continental GT, 400 kilometers to the boys from Chennai. <laughs> very, very well identified. Of course, certain features of that fuel tank you can't miss. Very good job on that and lots and lots of scoring in that round. I'll tell you what, we'll tell you scores, but in just a little while. For now, let's dip into a short break. We come back with plenty more. Now, all through in our AQ rounds, we've been surprising you with different vehicles. We've had the E2O, we've had the XUV500, and we've had the Rexton. So, what could this tall vehicle be next to me? I will reveal it for you right now. Aha, there you go. It's a completely different segment, one that we haven't explored on the program before. But it makes it exciting, perhaps a bit of a twist. The Maximo Plus Mini Truck. All the questions in this coming round will be based on this product. Seeing visuals on your screen, those of you watching at home, what you're seeing is basically all of them getting acquainted with the product. There's also a bit of a brief that they were given. They had the chance to go ahead and search for things on the internet if they wanted to. So it'll work the same way it's worked the last few weeks. There will be 400 kilometers on a direct question. There is no negative marking. If you don't get the answer right, you have the opportunity to just go ahead and pick a team and pass to just that team. If they give you the right answer, well, then you get to share 200 kilometers a piece. All right, so that's how it works. You've got to help each other out just a little bit, perhaps. Of course, you can get 400 on the direct. We will turn things around, start with Chennai this time. Your direct question, based on the Maximo Plus. What are the two driving modes that a driver can choose between on that vehicle? Eco mode and power mode. Eco mode and power mode, right answer, absolutely right. We knew that one, and let's see what happens with TVS. Your direct question, what is the payload of the Maximo Plus in terms of kgs? 850 kgs. 850 kgs, right answer. They are all paying attention when they were spending some time with that vehicle. Okay, let me see your direct question. As per the tagline of the Maximo Plus, it is powered by Blank technology, fill in the blank. Fuel smart. Fuel smart, yes, 400 kilometers. Oh, everybody's scoring big GC. What is the top speed of the Maximo Plus? 70 kilometers per hour. 70 kilometers per hour is right, 400 kilometers to you. So everybody getting their direct on this one and that's a nice high scoring round. So let's take a quick sneak peek at the scoreboard. That's the South Zone scoreboard for you, GEC at 600. And look at that, it's all very close from there on. Hyderabad on 1100, Chennai on 1200. TBS from Bangalore leading at this stage of the quiz with 1600 kilometers on the board. Very good job, guys. The last round, though, 
could change things. And so let's quickly go straight into our round, full throttle. So it's a buzzer round. There's 400 kilometers for the right answer, minus 200 for the wrong answer. Please listen to my question carefully because if you hit the buzzer halfway through it, you won't hear the rest. And remember, everything to play for here. This is the last round. All the very best to all of you. First question. Which Japanese car maker in India has said recently that it's putting its entire lineup online so people can buy online using their credit card? Yes, the buzzer coming from Chennai. Honda. It's Nissan, so that's not the right answer. The second question, not from me, but a friend of mine, so turn your attention to the screen. Hi, I'm Aditya Patel. My question to you is, who has Mary Barra succeeded as the CEO of GM? Daniel Akerson. I didn't even have to ask the question again. GEC says it's Mr. Ackerson, and of course it is Mr. Ackerson. So right answer. <laughs> it's a goodbye, Dan. And the third question, Suzuki Motor recently showcased the latest version of the Swift hatchback called the Swift TVS. You have no idea what the question was. You want to just take a guess, shot in the dark? No, okay. It was the Swift DJE. I just wanted to know what that stands for. It's the dual jet engine, which is basically dual injectors. All right, no harm done. Still more questions coming. With which car brand would you associate the e-tron electric drive? Can Audi. I? Audi it is. In India, which car company organizes an annual sale called the Midnight Surprise GEC? Uh, Volvo. Not Volvo, it's the former parent of Volvo, Ford. In 1999, which Formula One champion received the World Sports Award of the Century in motorsport? Alain Frost. The tagline of which Indian tire maker is Ride Smart with Road Sense? GC. Fiat Tires. Fiat Tires. No, it's TVS Tires. Which engine was named the International Engine of the Year for both 2013? Ford EcoBoost 1.0 liter 3 cylinder. You've got it all. Yes, right answer, Chennai. For which of its models has Maruti Suzuki launched an edition called Active? GC. A Star. A Star, right answer. And the last question. The Paceman is a recently launched model of which car? MEC. Mini. Mini, yes, from BMW. Right answer again. Cool. So things have gone pretty excitingly in that round. We've had some right answers, we've had some wrong answers. So things may have gone forward, backwards. Time to look at the final scoreboard. It was really close. GEC with 1,000 kilometers. Up next, Bangalore TVS with 1,400. MEC 1500 and Chennai coming out trumps with 1800 kilometers. Very well done, guys. Let's give them a big round of applause. I'm going to go ahead and invite right now to join us here Mr. Vivek Nair, the Chief Marketing Officer, Automotive Division at Mahindra and Mahindra. Vivek, good to see you. I think we are very happy because uh, more than one lakh participants this year. Uh, that's amazing. We have more than nine nearly 9 lakh uh, Facebook fans. Uh, so I think uh, Mahindra AQ is going places. Uh, and, uh, you know, hopefully next year we'll make it even bigger, even better. So there you have it. That was the last of our regional finals. We have a South Zone winner, and that means we have four teams strong contenders ready for our grand finale. That will be next week right here on the network. Stay tuned, there's plenty coming up and join us next week for sure. The battle will be intense. Question for all of you watching at home now. What car was launched by Eminem to celebrate its 60th anniversary? Send us your answers via SMS. Type AQ, leave a space followed by your answer with your name and city and send it to 56388. The contest closes at 9 p.m. on Sunday. 25 AQ winners will get AQ goodie bags and one grand prize winner who sends correct answers through all four regional rounds gets to go on a Mahindra Great Escape. Visit the Mahindra AQ Facebook page and Twitter handle for quick updates. All you viewers are also invited to send us your feedback at aq at ndtv.com. <laughs>